four nerves that run at the two o'clock, four o'clock, eight o'clock, and ten o'clock positions provide innervation to each finger, including the thumb. Identify the web space on the dorsal aspect of the hand where the finger joins the hand. Insert a 25 or 27 gauge safety needle at the web space and advance it until the needle reaches the palmar aspect of the hand. Be careful not to exit the palmar skin. Inject 3 cc's of local anesthetic while withdrawing the needle. This helps distribute the anesthetic reaching both nerves in the process. Repeat the injection on the other side of the finger. Recently, the volar approach to digital nerve blockade has been discussed as an alternative to the traditional digital nerve block. Advantages of this technique include fast onset of reliable anesthesia with only a single injection. Examine the palmar surface of the hand and identify the crease where the digit meets the palm. Insert a 25 or 27 gauge safety needle into the midpoint of this crease. Aspirate, then inject 3 cc's of local anesthetic subcutaneously. In this process, the anesthetic is distributed to all four nerves from the one injection. Three nerves innervate the hand, the radial, median, and ulnar nerves. The superficial branch of the radial nerve divides into terminal branches at the wrist and provides sensation to the dorsal surface of the wrist, the radial styloid, and the anatomical snuff box. The sensory distribution of the radial nerve is shown in red. The median nerve becomes superficial near the wrist and lies beneath the flexor retinaculum in the carpal tunnel. The median nerve provides sensation to the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, and half of the ring finger. The nerve does not innervate the dorsal aspect of the thumb or the corresponding area of the palm. The sensory distribution of the median nerve is shown in blue. The ulnar nerve is located medial to the ulnar artery at the wrist and provides sensation to the entire fifth digit, half of the fourth digit, and the medial aspect of the hand and wrist. The sensory distribution of the ulnar nerve is shown in yellow. These nerves can be blocked independently or in conjunction with one another as necessary to provide anesthesia to different parts of the hand.